Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Judy and I am currently in Las Vegas. I actually just arrived yesterday. My friend Alexa, who also lives in Vegas, was able to pick me up from the airport yesterday. We grabbed some poke immediately afterwards because that's what I was craving. It was called Makai. I had some poke, mac salad, some chicken katsu, literally everything I was craving. It's been about five years since I've seen her, so it was really nice to catch up. We went to this famous donut shop called St. Honor or St. Honore got a unicorn birthday cake donut and their creme brulee, which is one of their best sellers, they said. Alexa also took me to this Italian restaurant called Al Salito Posto, which was so delicious. We had some Wagyu Carpaccio, this Papadelli Bolognese, as well as a rigatoni with some sausage, and it was absolutely delicious and had amazing ketchup over delicious Italian food. The ambiance was really nice as well. It was just a nice first night to get situated and settled in to Vegas because the main reason why I am in Vegas right now is actually for an epic reunion between me and three other girls whom I met during my study abroad exchange program in Hong Kong. The last time us four took a trip together was seven years ago. So this has been a long overdue trip together. I'm so excited to take you guys on this Vegas weekend reunion trip. Numero uno, there are two more girls coming up for this debauchery weekend. So ASL. Huh? Age, sex, um, and location. 21. Female SF. Oh, okay. Uh, Watch out. Hopefully Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, SF and Taiwan. We're having a bite of the Saint Honoré donut and Stacy has been raving about it, so I had to get some. So we got the unicorn birthday cake donuts, as well as the creme brulee. Look at that, 24 karat gold on top. It seems like there's a huge thick glaze on top. And I'm not sure how to do this handful. Okay, now or never. I only get one chance. This is a lot of pressure. Do it. Oh my god. Ooh. I have no idea. It's like custard. Mm -hmm. Look at this crack on top. I had no idea it was such Thick glaze. Oh my god, look at how much custard is inside. That's crunchy. 
Yeah. Keep in mind, these donuts have been sitting since last night, and they're still pretty fluffy. Didn't put it in the fridge, just left it out, and they're still quite fluffy. Let me take another bite. Not too sweet. That glaze on top gives it that extra crunch. Ooh. Considering that it's also been sitting since last night, I have to do this at 9.15, but I must go back to this place, St. Honoré, to try it fresh next time. If a donut can't get any cuter, this is it. The Unicorn Birthday Cake Donut. They call this the Queenie. The server told us that this was actually the least sweetest. So let's give the Unicorn a shot. A unicorn eating a unicorn. The dough definitely is a lot thicker on this donut because there's no filling. It's a little harder than the creme brulee. It's definitely tasting a little basic, just a little vanilla glaze on top. So I would give this a 7.25. Just because it's a little basic. Creme brulee action. We got a thumbs up from Stacy. <laughs> Get some cream because it ran out on this side. Look at that custard. Mm. Out of 10, what's your rating? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give it a 9. Oh, just a, <laughs> that's pretty high. That's high. <laughs> yeah. All right, give us a little decimal point. Nine point. Number two. Oh, number two. Uh, 9.15. Okay, okay. By day. Oh my god. Definitely non teacher by night. <laughs> there are other terms of that? Yeah. I would say that outfit is very inappropriate and should be turned into the principal's office. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to. Woo! Cheers to. 10 years. 10 years for you? Cheers. How many 10 years do we get in a lifetime? Let's do this in 10 years. See you guys, you know? No, you had a really good idea for sure. Jungi, how would you rate Stacey's recipe? Oh, she is sour and ranch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Out of 10, I need a decimal though. 
10.9. Helen, um, trying Stacy's recipe, which is the. Sweet and sour. Why? Oh, she ain't a fan. <laughs> so what's the recipe again? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour and ranch. Hello. Okay, All the nuggets. Oh. <laughs> oh. How's it? Second opinion. Yeah, I need a confirmation. There. I need a confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> it? It's good. Mm. Did you really try my combo? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? I'm not really tasting the ranch. I think the ranch needs to be a no, little no, no. Bit more dominant. It's, it's, it's because I'm tasting doing one hand. Or okay. sweet and sour. Okay. Okay, one more time. You tell me you're leaving today. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's the third time's a charm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she only dipped in ranch. Oh. That's a lie. That's a lie. Well, first of all, oh, the nuggets are so. So good. It's nice and plump. I would Maybe prefer the sweet and sour I, alone. Cheers! Cheers! Ten year reunion. Ten. Ten reunion. Oh We're just 21 years old. Day two of Vegas. We definitely got a little too excited last night, is all we can say. So tonight we must redeem ourselves. Tonight is redemption night. We went to Zook. We started a little too early in the hotel. Got a little too excited, but we did make it to Zook. We also were able to meet up with two of our Canadian friends whom we met in Hong Kong. So it was an extra Hong Kong reunion last night. This morning we had some McDonald's to cure. So how do you feel, Cindy, on a scale of one to 10 in terms of being alive? Oh, I feel like a 10. Cause oh, you're, you're a 10 out of 10? Yeah, because that McDonald's solved it all, you know? Two oh. bottles of Gatorade and one liquid IV. That is true, you know? that is true. We were well prepared. We got the electrolytes in our system. Oh, yeah. We're back on the strip walking. Day one towards Resort World to grab a bite and then head on over to Lavo, which is a brunch party. So you eat a little bit and you dance a little bit. Wow, it's good. Ellen got the half rare steak and half brisket. How's the soup? Yum. Jiggle. Cindy with her boba. <laughs> it's, it's not good, but not bad. It's like, not bad. <laughs> Round two. Oh my goodness, the boba lover. The only thing this word for can deliver is tiger sugar. What'd you get? The original. Original brown sugar. Is this tea or latte? Another reason why Cindy needs to come to Taiwan again to visit. I will. So she can get cheaper tiger sugar. friend 
Even on the bad days, I think Cherry Cronuts. What are the thoughts? It's good. good. <laughs> I'm not sure if Cindy's face is just analyzing how it tastes or it's she's like, not impressed. It's like different sauces. No, that's why I'm wondering what's really good. It's like one is like kind of sweet and then one is like really yeah, it's mellow. Like lighter. And yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Out of 10, how would you rate it? Uh, wow, what an easy critic. 10 out of 10. I would give it a 9 point. Because I actually like the other one better. <laughs> <gasps> oh, she's an experienced critic giving the decimal. Okay, Ellen? Seven? Oh, look at that face. She is not impressed. Seven out of ten. We just arrived at Caesar's Palace. Wanted to get some dessert after Lavo party brunch. And we got to Dominique. And so I didn't get to try it in New York the last time we went. So this is my very first time having pastries at Dominic Ansel. And of course, we needed to get their popular cronuts. And apparently, every single month, they change their flavors for the cronuts. This month, it's the cherry flavor. Very exciting. My first cronut from Dominic Ansel. Cherry flavor. It looks like there's some filling inside on top as well. A little glaze. Mm. I love the filling. Mm. Not too doughy. Got the sugar on top. The filling is awesome. I'm not the biggest sweet sweet fan, so this is the perfect amount of sweetness. It's got a little fruity tang to it, a little nice cherry tang. And it's a little nice and fluffy. I expected it to be a little bit more fluffy, so I would rate it a 9.35. So at Uchon, it, it has that caramelized top. Which is this one here. I don't see it here. Yeah. Mm. I, don't, I don't see the caramel. The caramel. It's like a toffee caramel. It's Ooh. hard. It's so got a little and crunch. And it's chewy. Okay. But so. this one has more texture oh, and more layers. The sweetness is what I have to make sure. Quite flaky like as well. Extra large one. He wins. Oh man! Over like Bouchon. Oh! Over Bouchon. oh. oh. This time he wins. Yes! Like but with the price, how much is it over there? <laughs> but it's not the price. This is really good. Oh my goodness! Yeah. How? Uh, what's your rating out of 10? Out of 10. Out of 10. 9.9. Now I have to get why. it. You know why? <laughs> because I'm butchon. It's yellow. Like you can, mm. there's too much butter. This one, more layers. Yes, that's flaky. And airiness. Yes, yes. And it's not sweet. Oh my goodness. Our uh, Dominic Ansel neighbor <laughs> right here. Hi. And what's your name? I'm Maru. Maru. And my daughter's Alice. 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 Yeah. Alice? Maru and Alice. <laughs> Night two in Vegas with the ladies. Cheers! Cheers. It oh. never gets better. Tonight is redemption night. Come on, let's go to the side to the VIP. We need some lights on the VIP.